بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules in this session we will study uh, the next three words of um, Al-Qaeda al Nuraniyah, page number 12 and this slide is just a reminder for transliteration purposes so we are revisiting some of the principles that we have studied before so the first one is um, we need to know the knowledge we need to have the artic uh, knowledge of articulation points for each um, letter the second one is we need to know the characteristics of each letter a sifat of each letter uh, we have studied only a few of them so far but we will study the rest in advanced level the third one is um, the knowledge of rules uh, rule or rules attached to individual letter because of its position in a word or words uh, the fourth one is um, exercising the tongue and a lot of repetition. So if we are given, for example, we are given a word and we have to apply these steps to make our uh, reading or recitation easy. So the first one is recognizing individual letter. So if you go to here, so individual, the first one is Arif, second one is Hamza, third one is Ba, and next one is Dal. And the final one is Alif. So we recognized individual letters. Step one. In step two, we recognize the harakat that are used. So the harakat would be, or the signs would be here. That's Fatha, Fatha, Fathatain. So we recognize the harakat. And the next one is we have to recognize uh, if. Uh, the letter letters uh, which letters are silent and which aren't uh, let's change the color okay blue. let's see so if you see here and if this is um, silent and uh, this one is not uh, ba is not silent dal is not silent and um, alif is silent so alif is silent hamza is not silent ba is not silent dal is not silent and alif is silent so we recognize those ones and the next one is we apply the rules um, that attach to individual letter we will study that in advanced level uh, apply the correct sifat so we have studied only a few of them one of them would be um, if the letter is heavy or light so we apply that, those rules and the rest we will study in advanced level uh, the next one is pronouncing each letter from its correct makhraj articulation point uh, and the other one would we can add is um, we count how many syllables are there. Uh, for example, here is a one, ba two, den. So there are three syllables in this word. So if we uh, manage to uh, implement these steps correctly, uh, then our recita our reading and recitation will be uh, very easy. These are not fixed rules, uh, you can add or subtract to it. Uh, these are just general guidelines uh, for um, recitation or reading the Arabic. So the first word we have is Jama'a and it has three syllables. The first syllable is Jim Fathaja. So Jim is not a silent and we have a Fatha. Jim Fathaja. Jim Fathaja. The second syllable is Mim Fathama. So Mim is not silent and we have Fatha. Mim Fathama. Mim Fathama. So now we connect the first two syllables. We have Jama. 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 The third syllable is Ain Fathaa. So Ain is not silent and we have Fatha. Ain Fathaa. Ain Fathaa. And now we combine the th all three syllables. So we have Jama'a, 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 Jama'a. So the next word we have is Hasada. And Hasada has three syllables. So the first syllable is Ha Fatha Ha. Ha is not silent and we have Fatha. Ha Fatha Ha. Ha Fatha Ha. The second syllable is Sin Fatha Sa. Sin is not silent and we have Fatha. Sin Fatha Sa. Sin Fatha Sa. And now we combine the first two syllables. So we have Hasa. 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 So the third syllable we have Dal Fatha Da. And Dal is not silent and we have Fatha. Dal Fatha Da. 
dal fathada now combining all three syllables we have hasada 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 the next word we have is hashara and hashara has three syllables the first syllable is ha fatha ha ha is not silent and we have fatha ha fatha ha ha fatha ha the second syllable is sheen fatha sha sheen is not silent and we have fatha sheen fatha sha sheen fatha sha so now we're combining the both uh, syllables we have hasha 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 the third syllable is ra fatha ra ra is not silent and we have fatha ra fatha ra ra fatha ra now combining the three syllables we have Hashara, 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 Hashara. So the next three syllables, uh, the next three slides would be um, sounds only with our spellings. Jama'a, 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 Hasada, Hasada, Hasada. Hasada Hashara 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 So this is the end of this session. In next session we will practice those three words ten times to give you in a practice inshallah. We will see you in next session. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.